The Minister of Information, Broadcasting and Telecommunications, the Honorable Dr. Edmund Mansour, says the FEST continues to meet its mandate. Dr. Mansour says the FEST provides technologically savvy individuals with the chance to showcase their talents. Six years ago, we thought that showcasing innovative technologies, Jamila in Antigua, both on the hardware side and on the software side, and raising national consciousness, as it were, that would perhaps put a spotlight on the empowerment potential of access to technology. And so with that as a background, uh, six years ago, we were able to launch the first ICT Fest. And looking back over the last five years, this being sixth year, we think we have achieved all of those objectives. Those individuals who have been to the Fest would recognize that part of the process towards positioning Antigua and Barbuda as an ICT leader, certainly in the OECS sub-region and further afield, has been a number of spotlights, with the primary spotlight being the first. So that being an interactive exhibition as component one of the first, then we had the competitions as the second component, and thirdly, the education seminars. The minister says the FEST will maintain its motto, which is promoting connectivity, ensuring that they are bridging the digital divide. Telecommunications officer Clement Samuel says although the festival will be downscaled this year, it is expected to be as successful as previous festivals. Samuel says they will be making a few adjustments where necessary. This year, we are going to have basically the same themes, the interactive ex exhibition that the minister spoke about. We are going to have the um, seminars. We are going to also have the competitions. The competitions, we're trying to add a few little uh, bit of innovative touches. I'll let Atcha speak on that in a few minutes. Um, and we are going to try, with the seminars, to focus it um, for two sets of audiences. One for the um, teenagers and young people and later on in the evening we are going to try and have about two or three uh, seminars which are geared particularly at the adults mm -hmm. and we are hoping that you know at four o'clock people will come off from work and will come down participate with us and have a good time. Special project coordinator lists the various competitions that will be held at the 2010 ICT Fest. Basically the computer assembly race has actually been one of the um, biggest competitions that we've had um, for the ICT Fest. That's one of the most popular, that's one of the biggest. Um, it draws, you know, a, a pretty large crowd and we, that way we actually get participation from um, people as young as maybe about 13 all the way to adults. Um, I mean, it's going to be a little smaller this year, but um, we are still putting it on. Um, the speed typing competition we're hoping to have again this year. We didn't have it last year, um, but we're hoping to reintroduce it for um, ICT Fest 2010. Um, we're also looking at a new component, um, which is a graphic design competition and an amateur digital photography competition. Um, pretty much what we want to do now is to introduce something that goes beyond hardware. The Minister of Information, Broadcasting and Telecommunications says scholarships will be a part of the main prizes for winners of the various competitions. Organizers are inviting everyone to come out and participate in the event. ICT Fest 2010 begins on September 15th. Louis Francis reporting for ABS News.